Hello and welcome to another Cyber Zero Gaming video. And today is the first episode of our brand new series, playing the game City Skylines. Um, interesting game here. Did a, a really good bit of research, um, as kind of mentioned earlier in our, our first intro video. Um, so there's a lot of things we want to do. Our, our overall theme is, is tech. So we want to build a tech-centric city. Um, the other thing we want to do is not run out of money. So this first key starting point here is really critical to getting off to a good start. So um, we're going to go ahead and jump in. I can tell you this looks pretty symmetrical, you know, minus the water gouge here and kind of the forest gouge or tropical forest, I guess. Uh, that's a bunch of palm trees. Um, but the goal is to get the people from the interstate here or the, or the big regional um, interconnections down into our our tile here to become residents and we do that by having a place for them to stay that's you know uninhibited by pollution um, whether that's water pollution air pollution sound pollution um, and then secondarily a place to earn some money right um, Sometimes those two are interchangeable, but for the most part, I, I think most people, if there's not a lot of places to make money, they're, they're gonna move on. And if there's too much pollution, that might be a deal breaker too. So what I wanna do is probably take this area here, and I wanna probably put our residence, our, our residential area right over there. Probably kind of swash it out this way. Um, put our industrial area kind of here, and then I need to have a place for kind of sewage. Uh, sorry, not sewage, but landfills. So we'll probably put landfills maybe up here. Let's see. Let's just see how it all, all plays out. So I'm gonna bring this freeway down and it's, it's, it's going to have to make a hard left. So that's gonna be a little expensive. Um, one other option is to start the city closer to the freeway. But I, I think it'll pay for itself in time because whether it's the road or the pipes from the water or the pipes from power, which I'm going to put power in my industrial area, all that's got to get situated. And I want to say that roads may be more expensive. Um, we'll see. So there's another, a lot of neat little tricks that people have been doing, like creating roundabouts, um, doing things like that. But I think really what what we want to do here is we just want our cheapest road and we're just going to bring that all the way down straight line Whew, that's money gone all right i think we want to go this way yeah i think i'll do that So we're committed now. Uh, we'll go here. Oh, this looks boring already, but we're gonna go ahead and slice it out over here as well um, for our industry. All of our industrial dwellings are gonna be in this side. So uh, this is, not bad, not bad, but not quite where I think I wanted to start. So we got our kind of, we have our, our situation going where we need to see how much money is being spent too. Um, why is our budget not just staring us in the face? Oh, let me turn all of this down to begin with because um, the two primary services that we have are electricity and water and kind of by default, we are going to outproduce a lot of uh, the services that you see here. Um, overproduce the services because the capacity for folks is just not there yet. So we're, we're gonna be in a good spot if we can maintain um, all of the things that we need to kind of make sure are working we're building the roads but we need to connect these two roads here 
Uh, these are one way. So what we're gonna do is just for the time being, don't want that. Want the free form. And we're just going to I just want to connect these roads. Well, let's just do that for the time being. So residential, industrial, and I need a place for sewage. I did it again uh, for landfills. Sewage is, is on my mind because I have to get the water situated so we can get fresh water in and the sewage out. So a um, little fun fact, the game really does a good job of illustrating what pollution does rather well uh, from a 10,000 foot view. So let's just jump in. I really wanted to do something with putting the landfills up here by the freeway. So they're kind of out of the way. Um, and the more intersections you have, the, the worse it is on traffic. So even if I were to draw another line here uh, to the landfill, we can probably clean that up a little later. We're going with it. So, um, we're gonna start with the water. And I'm going to drop this as close to the edge as possible um, to intake fresh water. And you can kind of see the currents are telling you what position and, and flow the water is in, right? The water is flowing down this way and it, filtering further down. So intake up here, and we're gonna do an exhaust or a water pipe out here. And we're gonna leave enough room for future growth to get maybe four more of these over. Um, same deal with the pumping stations. We wanna be able to probably expand to four pumping stations. Um, so now we need to connect these two together with water. So we have water. Um, now we want to expand out. Into the roadway here. And I'm going to follow this line to give us water over to where our power station is going to go. So now we're going to plop the power station down. Just short and dirty of it is we're going to do this with, um, we're going to burn coal. That's all we can really do. Um, now we need power. So we have a little bit of money left. Um, and we really, really, really want to make this work. So that's 32. And again, we're going to follow this um, here. So that's 10. And now we're going to build out part of our residential a little bit more. So it would have been cool if we could follow this edge. Uh, you know, let's let's give it a shot. All right, let's see. So if we go here, I think the goal was to leave room enough to come back and plant trees behind our um, some of our homes. Um, so let me just see if we have enough to make this work. Oh yeah, that's too big. So 
So looking at kind of where the tools align, we can tell when we leave out pretty much where and what kind of line we're gonna get, where the line's gonna pop out, and what we're going to get in terms of the actual concept of the line. So, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that the way I thought, so what I wanna do now And keeping an eye on our, our dollars down there. Uh, we want to make sure that we can create a zone that's going to be water plentiful, have enough capacity, and also enough power. So those are our two primary concerns right now. So still looking good on cash. It's a thousand. So let's see, we'll take that over to a thousand. Oh, that's horrible. What just happened there? That's on straight edge. Maybe the road curved, maybe the ground curved. Not sure, but we need to fix that. Hmm. So maybe a little curvature there. Four thousand. I should have enough water or enough. Yeah. Now we need to worry about water. Um, let's jump in here with some pipes. So I don't want to be in a situation where any of this is left um, kind of lacking water so i just want to make sure this entire neighborhood has enough water so the industrial stuff here it'll we'll be able to branch out with water um but for the neighborhood getting started if we run out of water early that's that's going to be a real big problem so a little bit of overlap here we can so maybe it's best to go down that way. So that's 580. And 200. Okay, we'll do that. Probably clean this up a little better. Um, we'll come back, we'll come back to this. Um, so we have 400 bucks in the bank and I want to bring in all of the residents. We'll just do that for right now. We have water, we have power. All right, we're gonna fire it up. See anybody moving in? I don't see anyone yet. Oh, there we go, all right. Ground has broken. So I did take it a little close with the budget. It's not necessarily a good thing to do that. 
Um, you want to leave yourself usually 15 or 20 percent just in case weird things happen and you don't need a loan or worse a bailout. Um, we are going to be a little strapped for cash um, starting out, um, but nothing too terrible because my goal here is to just get us uh, to 1,000 people as quickly as possible. Um, that'll be a good hell if we're actually moving in the right direction with, with a lot of what we're doing. So off the back, that's interesting. We should have an abundance of power because we have really is it because this isn't connected mm. all right i can fix that with a quick cheat um we'll do we'll do this i really didn't plan on it but uh this will work 99 percent sure this will work and what i'm doing is I'm just adding residential that's closer to the power so that it will actually touch the grid and we can actually get rid of some of this now and there we go so now there's a demand for commercial zoning I think I will go ahead and drop this right here. Let's see how bad our interstate connection is. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. I think that's um, going to bring a lot of folks in. I don't see anybody on the roads, which is a little disconcerting, but people are moving in we've got some demand now for industry so I'm gonna go on the other side here put a little down I'm probably gonna move this power plant at some point um, could have done that a little cleaner Okay, looks like we're off to a, a great start. Um, get a few more folks in. See if they're happy with their new surroundings. I'm not sure what factor distance from like work plays into the equation. I mean, because, yeah, you know, industry is over there and, you know, we got some new commercial shops and stores and whatnot. Yeah, over here. So this is relatively close, but I don't know if it's a, a bad thing that people have to travel so far to work. Um, saying that out loud, yeah, usually the further the commute, the worse you, you are, right? Um, but game-wise, I don't think that's a mechanic that affects much. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up just a little bit. Oh, you know what? I, I've made a very, very, very big mistake. There was something I forgot to do money wise. Um, no, I did it. Okay. Hmm. I did it. That's the, with the budget. You want to make sure that you lower the budget until you absolutely need it. Until you get a, a call for, for service, right? So like for instance, with water, if we take a look, we're at capacity for both sewage treatment and water availability. If we look at power, we are consuming 400 megawatts of 10 megawatt production capacity. So for all practical purposes, um, things are good. Uh, let's check on the citizens to see where their pain points are. So that residential happiness, they want more residential. Oh. So right now it looks like they want jobs, 85%. All right, let's go and build out industry a little bit more for what we can do. Um, we can't build any roads or anything right now uh, because 
you know, I, I kind of blew the budget early on. Wanted nice houses for everyone. Okay, so let's go here and add another row. Again, keeping in mind that I really want this to be for power. Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to go here. Uh, and I'm next, I'm going to check what our electricity. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're fine. That will branch out. Okay, that's exactly what it's doing. And we have enough water because we took that all the way down. That was kind of a good, a good foresight there. Um, so I'm going to try something. And I want to see if this increases the demand for people to move in. Let's go here, because I really need to break that up with a road. A local road coming through here. And now our demand for residential has peaked up a little more. Uh, gonna give this entire stretch over to residential building. And once we get done building everything over there, um, Let's go ahead and do these these both. So hopefully that will set quash the demand. Now I don't have the ability to manipulate tax bases yet, but that is a way to kind of influence certain zones. So for instance, if your residential zone is growing, 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 and your taxes are low, that's why people want low taxes. So it's it's attractive for them to move in. Um, same thing with the industry. If you have some industrial products, a manufacturing plant, um, cheaper taxes, that's a part of their uh, their overhead taxes. So um, money that's going out of the business, you know, things they have to pay, that's, that's not what they want. They don't want high taxes, they want low taxes because um, that gives them higher profitability. Same thing with commercial zoning. So if you get one of these and they're a little out of whack, at some point in time, you can adjust those. And again, we'll, we'll get into policies and we'll get into some of the other areas that will dictate um, how much we can actually achieve, right? Because there's, there's things like traffic restrictions and noise ordinances that we can, we can invoke those things. And that'll allow us to achieve things that Kind of require the policy tweaks to to get get at if you know what i mean um but for the most part i think we we may be off to an okay start it's not not a, not a great start um i know that as soon as i can i want to plop down a school um i need to have that grow um have the schools grow kind of with the city um, with the housing communities they're a part of and the schools radiate out so they're not all encompassing right they you know for a neighborhood if it has terrible you know interconnections traffic wise um that's not going to work well for how many students can reach that school same thing for traffic and fire i'm sorry for fire and hospitals if you don't have very well thought out roadways um you're going to limit the ability for people to access those services um oh there was a little slope there huh. all right well it's times times three it see where we where we end up So I know I'm going to need to drop down a landfill um, quickly. So the two big key items are a landfill and more than likely a school. Okay, we reached our first milestone, a little hamlet. I like it. Uh, so now we can manipulate taxes. We can go ahead and drop our landfill down and our education as well as some healthcare resources. And if we need to, we can take out a loan, but we want to avoid that at all costs. 